voilà, et Sean Dufresne, well done. Uh, well done, <laughs> very nice. Uh, the team doing a good, a fantastic job. And then, you know, those information is very important. You know, that uh, when you talk about uh, a legend like uh, Lionel Messi, mm -hmm. uh, this guy, you know, he been doing a, a fantastic job. And it's not easy to have some player who, who been doing the thing for so long. Like when you're talking about Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, those two guys, uh, they've been uh, holding a uh, whole, uh, you know, a uh, long way. Like, you know, some player, you, you can see they're doing one year, two year. Yeah. It's not easy to find some player who keep, uh, keep it up for so long like that, uh, Michelle. That is so true. That is very true. And I know that the fans... They were quite upset um, with the fact that the news leaked out that he was going to win, that Messi was going to win. Actually, it was um, Fabrizio Romano. He was the one who sent out a tweet saying that Leo, this is what he said, quote, Leo Messi expected to win the Ballon d'Or 2023. And so when that broke out, you know, a lot of fans were very disappointed that A, he, it was leaked early because um, the announcement is not um, expected to be until next week, Monday. Mm. However, you know, it was leaked. Fans started to tweet things like um, one fan tweeted, we're about to witness the biggest robbery in the history of football on the 30th of November. Another one posted, this is embarrassing. We're about to, um, this is embarrassing. I love Messi, but if he wins the Balloon d'Or for this year, I think the award will lose much of its remaining credibility. So a lot of people do believe that with him coming over to enter Miami, it kind of changes things. And um, we're kind of seeing a shift here with who's taking the lead. You know, Messi is getting older in age and, you know, now, some of the younger footballers, they are starting to um, receive that much-deserved shine. But, you know, last year, you know, Lionel Messi, you know, get up, you know, the World Cup in, in Qatar. Mm -hmm. and, and then, you know, he's not only winning the World Cup with Argentina, he was the best uh, scorer in that competition. And then he was uh, the best player in that competition. Yes, he, he definitely was. He definitely was. But a lot of people are saying that that's not even that's not even enough. You know, um, another fan commented, you know, that it was another robbery. And one said that football is finished. And I think that's a little bit extreme. That's very extreme, to say the least. But, um, you know, Messi, he is he is deserving. But, you know, some people are still saying that he did struggle at the you know Paris Saint Germain, and now with him playing for Inter Miami, it's it's changing things, mm -hmm. you know. And they're looking at Holland and and treble winning success at Manchester as well. Mm -hmm. So um, as as well as like Jude doing his thing in um, Real Madrid, and yeah, it, it's it's I don't know. But, 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 what happens is definitely controversy here. But you know they can say all the whatever you know the fan no matter what they're never gonna be satisfied. No, you know, they're not. They're not gonna be happy. You know they. But you learn when you look at it, like you know Ellen Holland, you know the the guy from Norway, is the uh, the main city the main city guy. Yes. You know, I, I know he won the Champion League with Man City, mm -hmm. and they won uh, the Premier League, and then he was the the mayor uh, the best player. And, and the Premier League, and then the the best uh, co uh, scorer too. Now, um, like for his national team, his national team wasn't qualified for the for the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that's the edge Messi have in front of him. I know it's like you know when you compare for the what you do, what you what you have been done for the year. It's not only on the on the club. You have to be on the uh, the team national team too, but with that, with that, Messi in front of him. But I know for the club, he's doing better than Messi. Like you know, winning the Champions League, winning the the Premier League, uh, the Premier League of those things. But you know, PSG was winning the 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 uh, League One too. But mm -hmm. Alan was you know, and and they, with the club, Alan do better than Messi. But for the national team, that's a different argument. 
So that, yeah. is, that is very true. So it's it's kind of it's kind of tough here, but you know what? True Messi fans are excited that he'll be winning again, but we don't know. We don't know. Maybe maybe things may be different come Monday. You know? But you know, uh, like you know, for example, if they give Alan it, I don't have a problem with it. If they give Messi, I don't have a problem with it. That's the way I see it. I don't care. Both are well deserving, you know. Both of them would deserve it exactly. Yes. And for the accomplishment uh, uh, for Helen Allen, you know what he did, uh, what he did have been done for the last season. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you can, you cannot take that away from him. But for what Messi did with Argentina, you cannot, you cannot take that away from him either. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, you can't. Yeah. You you what? can't. So this is what happens when greatness meets greatness, you know. <laughs> but um, we'll see what the uproar is going to be all about come Monday um, on the 30th when they actually announce the winner. Right now, it's you know hearsay, it's even not, though Fabrizio not. is is you know a credible source. But Fabrizio, Fabrizio, if the, the, the junior is Italian, if this guy when he says something, you know what he's saying. But sometimes. Your source, your source, you know, can, uh, cannot, uh, is not right all the time. You know, exactly. up and down, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But talking about Lionel Messi, you know, like, uh, uh, I know at the Miami, we're going to talk about that. But, you know, Messi, what he has done and the MLS, like you were saying earlier, there's no other player. Uh, he so he have done what he done. No. And that is, that's what makes him a legend. Mm -hmm. That's what makes him a legend. Yeah, and, and then now you know you see the player in in Miami. What they try to do now? They try to communicate with. They, they try to communicate with him. Yes, there's because you know <laughs> he does not speak any English. The most that he does say is "Good morning," <laughs> according good to his morning. teammates. <laughs> yeah, he, he says "Good morning." <laughs> you learn more. You learn more. You know. But, yeah. So. Uh, they they're saying that they have not um, heard him speak any English. So what they've been trying to do is learn some Spanish so that they can have some type of communication with him, you know. And I think that's commendable. And they've also um, have been taking it easy on him when it comes to uh, practice as well. Yeah, yeah, but it's good for the 